Phoenix, President Donald Trump is reprimanding the media for the across-the-board judgment of his reaction to a Charlottesville, Virginia, challenge composed by racial oppressors that prompted the murdering of a counter dissident. Trump opened his political rally in Phoenix with a call for solidarity, saying, What occurred in Charlottesville strikes at the center of America and today, this whole field stands joined in commanding judgment of the hooligans that executed scorn and brutality. In any case, he immediately prepared his fury on the media, yelling that he straightforwardly called for recuperating solidarity and love in the prompt outcome of Charlottesville and guaranteeing the media had distorted him. He read from his three reactions to the brutality, getting more vivified with every one. Democrats and kindred Republicans had impugned Trump for setting fault for the Charlottesville savagery on the two sides. Trump talked after Vice President Mike Pence and others called over and again for solidarity. Lodging Secretary Ben Carson and Dr. Alveda King, the niece of social liberties extremist Martin Luther King Jr., were among the openers. Franklin Graham, child of the evangelist Billy Graham, drove the rally goers in petition, saying, We're isolated racially, and we're unfastened ethically. Outside the Phoenix tradition focus, Yelling matches and minor fights emitted between Trump supporters and dissidents assembled close to the site of his most recent crusade rally. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton had requested that Trump defer his political occasion to take into consideration an additional season of national recuperating after Charlottesville. Trump prodded an absolve for previous Sheriff Joe Arpaio, soliciting the group what they thought from him. Noisy cheers emitted. The previous Maricopa County Sheriff is anticipating condemning after his conviction in government court for ignoring court requests to stop his migration watches. So was Sheriff Joe indicted for doing his occupation? Trump Inc. wired. I'll make a forecast, I believe he will be okay. Prior, White House Squeeze Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said Trump wouldn't talk about or make a move on an acquit any time today. Despite the fact that the president had disclosed to Fox News he was thinking about it. Trump said at the rally that the main reason he wouldn't make a move from the stage was to stay away from discussion for the occasion. In the solace of his most intense fans, Trump regularly revives his freewheeling 2016 crusade style, pinging affronts at saw adversaries, for example, the media and winding from point to subject without an unmistakable topic. In spite of the fact that Trump's prominent warm-up acts proposed the president's discourse would be about solidarity, the president was more plan on settling scores. Neither of Arizona's two Republican congresspersons showed up with Trump. Republican Senator Jeff Flake, a preservationist, has been an incessant focus of Trump's rage. The president tweeted a week ago, Extraordinary to see that Dr. Kelly Ward is running against Flake Jeff Flake, who is weak on outskirts wrongdoing and a non-factor in Senate. He's lethal. Flake has been on visit advancing his book that says the Republican Party's grip of Trump has left conservatism shrinking. Ward wanted to go to Trump's rally, starting talk that the president could make the politically unprecedented stride of supporting her from the phase of an occupant Republican congressperson. In an unobtrusive yet telling swipe at Ward and, by augmentation, at Trump, the Senate Leadership Fund, a political board firmly lined up with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, is burning through $10,000 on advanced advertisements that say of her, not traditionalist, simply insane thoughts. Arizona's other representative, John McCain, is experiencing treatment for a forceful type of cerebrum disease. Trump has been disparaging of McCain for voting against the Republican social insurance charge. Tuesday's occasions placed Trump in more agreeable political region than lately. He started his Arizona visit with a concise excursion toward the southern edge of the nation. While visiting a Marine Corps base in Numa that is a center point of operations for the U.S. outskirt patrol, Trump reviewed an automaton and other fringe gear in plain view in a storage. Trump shook his head as he was demonstrated a progression of regular items, for example, a fire dowser that had been refashioned to furtively transport medicates over the fringe. A short time later, he spent around 20 minutes welcoming administration individuals in the tiring, 106-degree warm, 
marking tops with his Make America Great Again battle trademark and posturing for selfies on the landing area just strides from Air Force One. Overturning a crusade pledge to end the nation's longest war. Trump on Monday reported in a national deliver an arrangement to keep up to a U.S. military nearness in Afghanistan. Senior U.S. authorities said Trump's technique may include sending up to 3,900 more troops, with a few organizations starting very quickly. Some of Trump's center voters had just been despondent about the current ouster of traditionalist Steve Bannon as White House boss strategist. Bannon had made it his main goal to help Trump to remember what his most intense supporters need from his administration. Some moderate strategists have transparently stressed that without Bannon around, Trump will be excessively impacted by foundation Republicans on issues, for example, Afghanistan strategy.